Welcome back to Tiki Jean's place. Boy, it's going to be a rainy day. It's day number 17. Only moving on days it rains, it seems. It's a good thing. Uh, we got an impeachment happening today. We've got, let's see if my bids from yesterday got approved because that's how you test out to see if the company is uh, willing to pay the appropriate prices for lawn service. And it's their way to see if you know your numbers. And if you don't know your numbers, you don't know your business. Well, there's a property, this first one, it still hasn't grown, but I'm mowing it because it's rained today and it's going to grow. Uh, but the thing is, every time I'm here, every single time, the lawn guy that does the uh, property across the street, for some reason, is always there. I don't know. I got to get a different day to come to this place. So. Okay, luckily for the uh, same client and the one that we'll go back to in a second once that guy finishes up because uh, I need to park where he's parked, um, there's also this one. These are both through a property management that I have prior that I still use and it's uh, only four uh, properties for just one basic investor that keeps me no matter which property management he goes through. And that's your end game really is to even cancel out property management unless if the property management's got your back and stuff so we're gonna mow this one it's a five plex and i'm gonna time how long it takes me because i might i might need to raise the uh i might need to raise the amount i charge uh at the beginning of the new year or maybe keep it the same we'll find out so today's like a perfect day to use a stopwatch when it's the middle of summer, when usually everything's all dry and nasty. Um, because then you get the sticky grass, you get all the stuff that kind of you would get in the summertime. So what I'm going to do is trailer gate down to trailer gate up um, for this service. And how long it takes me to do each individual step, edge, weed whack, mow, blow off. And then I can calculate that now into my formula so I can see if I'm bidding correctly or if at least I'm charging correctly. Focus, 15 minutes, seven seconds. 27.39. 30 minutes. Okay, so 30 minutes, 52 seconds. It's wet and rainy, so the blower, you know, everything sticks to the ground and whatnot. So that means for two guys, this should be a 15 minute property. One guy, 30 minutes, so that's $33 per man hour. Uh, because if I uh, did a full hour, it would have been 66, so I'm right on target with what I'm charging. All right, 10 minutes, 34 seconds to mow.
1628. This one gets weed spray in the front. 1825, spray weeds, go. I forgot to hit uh, stop record. 19 minutes, 48 seconds. All right, so essentially it's 10 minutes and 30 seconds to mow. Uh, it is a triple lot, but uh, it's a duplex, or it's a triplex. So anyways, 19 minutes and 48 seconds. It gives time for weed whack blow off and spray for weeds by the time I'm basically done mowing they're finishing up the blowing if I had a worker so down the line not bad just so this would be with two guys a 10 minute property pretty good I'm still falling in line with my minutes so let's get to uh, the next one hey just an update little bird um I haven't got a reply yet to my uh to my quotes so but Check it. Bye. See you next time. Bye, Bert. Okay, so I'm not allowed to record at this one. I actually asked people to uh, record on certain properties. But anyways, uh, it's a, a small apartment complex where it's like once a month. Uh, and so it doesn't really grow that much. But the problem is you've got to uh, use the, the walk behind in the back because there's a canal. And to the canal, it's so steep. And I guess the sprinklers blew out like a couple years ago or 10 years ago or whatever before I got it. And uh, it just started eroding the back so bad. And the guy before me, uh, he uh, dropped his mower in the canal. <laughs> so this one here, I, I'm just gonna mow it. I already know how long it takes me to do and I make a freaking killing on it because no other lawn guys will touch it. But it's one I'd like to drop in the future, especially if I have a worker to help. Okay, so this house here is for sale. And then uh, when it goes, I'll have to speak to the new owner and uh, see about keeping it. But since I'm uh, still timing myself, this is good practice. It's a uh, double lot and uh, grass hasn't really even grown, but since it's for sale, I kind of like to just keep it looking decent. So uh, let's knock that out. Only took about 20 minutes. Problem is I had to stop the stopwatch and I forgot to turn it back on. And the reason being, where do these people get their, where do you get your driver's license? Well, anyways, uh, you have to take apart a piece of a fence and then like undo the chain link fence a little bit to get your mower through and then reclose it every time because I don't fit through the gate and it's a gigantic backyard and I'm not taking my 36 back there because then I'd be losing my ass off. So, oops, I swore. So, uh, yeah, when it sells, uh, ta-ta, you know, goodbye. I'll probably not keep it. So it's Wednesday and I just did these five and now I have nothing to do the rest of the week. So I guess, uh, you know, hopefully that email comes back and says, yay, we approved your bids. Yeah, that'd be great. Or we approved them and, and uh, you know, so go mow them or something. Because uh, I don't want to take on now another property management and burn them if, you know, if they say, hey, you can do yards too, I, I want to be loyal to like three or four different ones, but I don't want to take on too much. Or do I? I don't know what I want to do. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Oh, well, I'm back and it's freezing out. It's 61 degrees in Southwest Florida. We're used to 85, 90 degrees. So I kind of feel like, you know, all those people up north when it's getting cold and things, like when it changes like two degrees, hey, at least you guys, when it's like negative 30, it stays negative 30 for a long time. Here, you know, 30 degree temperature shift, 
that's not good. Then all these dirty people, because they're like, oh, I don't need to wash my hands, and I don't need to do this, I don't need to do that, and they touch doors. And when you go to the gas station, then they touch your lid, the cashiers on your soda pop or whatever, and they've been just touching dirty money, you know, and picking their noses. So, you know, I try to, I try to think about all this stuff because you don't want to get sick, but at the same time, you know, uh, I'm bored. So I figured I'd just chime in real quick. All right.